I'm Terrence Dollard, the host of Comic Culture. We're in Charlotte for Heroes Con 2018. It's day two. We shot some great interviews and we're sharing them with you now. I'm talking with Katie Skelly. Uh, you are a writer. You do a lot of interesting comics. I saw you on a panel yesterday. So I was wondering if you could tell me about the comics that you write. Yeah, um, I work in horror, I work in science fiction, mostly in genre, and I just focus on really bad women doing bad things in genre. I call back a lot to like 60s and 70s and psychedelic palettes, and yeah, everything is just like big and dynamic and crazy. That's how I describe it. So you were on a panel yesterday at Heroes Con, and I'm wondering when you go to the conventions, um, obviously there's a, a business side of it, but there's also, you know, you're on the panels and that sort of stuff, so how do you kind of balance that, you know, the commitment of your time and, and giving back to the organizers. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely something that like you have to do. Um, I think it's fair, and you know what? I don't really mind it. Like, I love doing panels. I could talk all day. Um, and when you do a panel, it's like if you can kind of like convince somebody that your work is worth looking at without them even looking at it. Like, there's no projection or anything. Then like you're gonna make a fan that you're gonna have forever because they're just gonna be interested in you and your ideas. So I always find that to be like a great way to promote yourself. Like, it's still part of the business. You know what I mean? So yeah. And when you write, um, a lot of people talk about it being solitary, a lot of people talk about it, you know, it's a distraction because they're working at home. So how do you keep yourself focused so that you can hit the deadline and still have something that you're proud of at the end of the month? Um, that's a great question. I wish that I knew <laughs> the answer. I feel like I'm always just like making myself insane, you know, and it feels like it's worth it. Uh, we'll see, you know, how that goes for the rest of my life. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of like having a lot of discipline, even if you don't feel like you're a disciplined person, like you would really surprise yourself because I don't feel like I'm disciplined, but like I still get all of this done. I have a day job, like I have other stuff going on in my life, but it still all happens. So I think if you want it enough, like you'll get it done. And you just said you had a day job, and that, that might be surprising to some folks who think that, you know, with big movies out there, all the comic book writers are, are making so much money they can retire in their gold jacuzzis. Um, so how do, you, how do you find the time? I mean, basically, you, you talked about trying to force yourself to do it, but I mean, it's got to be difficult day in and day out. You know, once you, like, get into the habit of it, like, I'm a very, like, habitual, like, almost like ritualistic person so once you get into the habit of it it's it's hard to break and like if you are working on stuff that's just yours and it's your vision like it's a pleasure you know I don't mind giving up extra time I don't mind like losing a little bit of sleep to get this work done because it's what I really want to do so yeah I think if you want it enough and you love it you'll get it done and now you're a writer, so that means you have to work with artists, especially in comics. Um, so how do you write for the visual, and how do you collaborate with, uh, with an artist on something? Um, well, I've only ever written, I've written for myself only, and then um, I just like did my first script for somebody else pretty recently. So it's always pretty much like internal for me, you know? Um, so I'm always just like in my own head, having conversations with myself, like listening to the same records over and over again, and like remembering sensations and stuff that I want to put in the stories and making notes everywhere. Like literally like every book that I have, I'm like, oh, I just have an idea right there. And then trying to like compile all that stuff. It's crazy. Like I just live in a madhouse like 24 seven. So yeah, I think it's just kind of like always looking to like articulate your ideas in some way, shape or form. Like if you can verbalize them, like they'll stick with you. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you.